Jimmy, we're just talking about a parade that Tennessee had, and I was very impressed. What did you think? It was a great turnout. Uh, some people said it's the biggest parade they've seen in Knoxville. I will tell you the Christmas parade, I've been to some of those, and some of those were lined up 10 or 12 deep for the Christmas parade. So if it was bigger than that, that's a heck of a turnout. And they turned it around very quickly, right? They win the they win the College World Series on a Monday night, and they got a parade the next day at 6.15. I thought it was a great turnout, uh, unbelievable performance by the team to win the College World Series. I thought John Wilkerson did a great job in uh, being the MC of the um, post-parade interview session. Uh, but I, I thought it was spectacular for Tennessee to see that. And it, it just shows you uh, what's that. I know what came from Field of Dreams. But in Tennessee's case, if you win, they will come, right? So – uh, they won, and the fans showed up. It's the first national championship for Tennessee in any sport in 15 years, and I think this fan base was just starved to have success at such a high level. Yeah, it's just insane that it's been that long. Uh, let's get to instant reactions brought to you by InstaDry, waterproofing and foundation repair over 13 years of unparalleled expertise. In that in that celebration press conference whatever you would like to call it there there was i thought a moment where don day plowman referenced danny white tennessee's athletic director and said danny white said he'd win championships little did he know that tony vitello was almost on the way and then you had danny white kind of selling himself a little bit what did you make of those two and and what they had to say i mean any any chance there's trouble in paradise that Danny Watts thinking about that next contract that Don Day Plowman's reminding him that you've still got to do something in football? Anything to that, Jimmy? No, I, I for Don Day Plowman to say little did uh, Danny White know one was on the way, that's not true. My goodness. They were the number one ranked team in the country. They were favored to win it. So I, I, I was kind of surprised by her comment about that. I will tell you this, though, uh, when I interviewed Danny White at the SEC spring meetings in Destin, we were talking uh, that Tennessee had just won its third consecutive SEC All Sports trophy. No, no program had ever done that. Certainly Tennessee had never done it. And he said, but the best is yet to come. He said, we're going to win some national championships. The best is yet to come. And not only did he cite baseball, he cited track and field. But he thought there were other sports that were on the cusp of doing so. And so I tweeted him after the World Series. I said, well, you said the best was yet to come. He said it still is. So he's expecting even more uh, positive results from the athletic department and more national championships. So, but for I just thought it was odd for Plowman to say, little did he know. Well, I, I think he actually did. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I wasn't the only one because I talked to Caleb about it. It didn't strike him quite as, as heavily as it did me, but I'm glad I wasn't the only what one. What are you Caleb. talking about? Yes, it did. It okay, okay did. then yes, it did. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, Dave lost to put words in my mouth, Jimmy. And he, he just says that all the time. Um, but uh no, I, I it stood out to me too. And I'm starting, I'm wondering to think. Do you you know I we we all watched the last dance, I'm sure, with Michael Jordan and the Bulls. And do you guys remember like every time the Bulls would win, Jerry Krause would be like, Oh, you know, yeah, we got great players, but you know, it's just a great organization from the top down, it's a great organization. And it seemed like he was trying to make the point like Michael Jordan didn't win these titles, I okay. won these titles. Caleb makes is, some terrible comparisons, Jimmy, but that's a pretty good comparison. Like, is Dante Plowman trying to be like, guys, this wasn't Danny White. This was the university. And don't forget, wink, wink, Danny White didn't even hire Tony Vitello. Is that the point she's trying to make here? Don't ask me to figure out what point she's trying to make. I, <laughs> I do not know. Uh, I, uh, And as much as I like and respect her, I, I just – I wasn't sure where she was coming from, Caleb. I don't know what the point was. Uh, I do know that if you want to draw that comparison, uh, Michael Jordan was the the stir that the, the straw that stirred the drink with the Bulls. With well, Tony Vitello is tennis is Tennessee's version of, of Michael Jordan as the coach. He's hey, the guy that, that's getting it done. He's the guy that put together the staff. He's the guy that's brought in all the players. He's the guy that has created this culture. He's the guy that has a very confident air about him, which spills over to his team. So if uh, just like when Michael Jordan left the Bulls and they kind of went in the tank, uh, Tennessee better keep Tony Vitello or the same could happen. Yep. Well, uh, I agree. Go ahead, Caleb. Um, because the interesting point about that, Jimmy, is 
Tony Vitello, of all the successful Tennessee sports, is the one coach Danny White didn't hire, and he's there. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was the one player Jerry Krause didn't draft, but he's credited for assembling that team. But it's like you didn't actually draft the one player that was the reason for the whole success. But, yes, I, it's just kind of an intriguing point. <laughs> Danny White's smarter than that. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. He, he is much, much smarter than that. Well, he also didn't hire Rick Barnes. He yeah. also didn't oh, that's hire Rick Barnes. Yeah, so he so what what I'm okay, what impressed me about Danny White is he didn't come in and say, okay, I'm the athletic director, I'm cleaning house, and by golly, I'm gonna hire my own coaches. No, he looked at the highly successful coaches and said, I'm keeping them. And Tony Vitello was one, Rick Barnes was one, Karen Weekly was one, um, Brennan Webb was one, uh, 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 Chris Woodruff was one, and he was smart enough to do that. Now the big hire, of course, was in football, and so far he's got that one right. With, with Josh Heupel. So, but I, I give him credit for looking at identifying coaches that were really good and then giving them all the resources possible to help them win. Well, so far is correct. Instant reactions brought to you by InstaDrive beyond foundations with over 13 years of unparalleled expertise. InstaDrive stands tall in the foundation repair mold remediation landscape of Knoxville, Tennessee and surrounding areas. Highest referred company by realtors in the region. They don't just repair, they restore homes to their prime. Unlike others, they don't upsell. They prioritize mending homes back to their original state. Built their business on hard work and wonderful word of mouth from their trusted customers. Go to InstaDrive.com. Jimmy, how long will Tennessee's fan base be okay with winning championships in smaller sports? And baseball's not as small as it was. I don't mean to minimize what Tony Botello has done. Being good in track, getting past the Sweet 16 in basketball, if football doesn't win a championship in, let's say, the next five years. I'm going to say as long as is they can repeat seasons like 2022, I think they'll be okay. Now, having said that, that was a team that led the nation in scoring, led the nation in total offense, beat Alabama for the first time in eons, uh, beat Florida. Uh, it had it beat Clemson in a bowl game. They did a lot of really positive things. If you're at that level and you don't win a championship, is there going to be some grumbling? Yes. But I think the majority of fans will be, okay, I understand the landscape. It's tough to do this. You know, remember, as far as I'm concerned, on the field, Tennessee went from 1951 to 1998 with winning national championships in football. That's a, that's a long time, right? Mm-hmm. So, And I don't count the Dunkel Index and Litkin House and all that other stuff that Tennessee counts. I count really what you did on the field and then the AP and the, the legitimate polls. So – could Tennessee be in a drought that long again? Maybe so. But if you're putting 11 win teams on the field that score a lot of points and they're exciting and you're beating your rivals now and then, I think they will be the majority will be okay. Jimmy's appearance, as always, is brought to you by our fantastic friends at Ray Varner Ford in Clinton. 